What is going on? Welcome back to Fanatic Journey. So today I want to talk to you on Rivian. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what's been coming out about the company itself, and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So currently Rivian is up 3.42%. It had a nice spike to around 1681, and that was as a result of some carry forward optimism from Friday. S&P hitting a record high, so that's definitely fairly good. And plus at the same same time a lot of analysts are saying that the broader market and indexes are poised to, to go up higher I'm gonna play a video near the tail end that does talk all about that but big money is going to be scouring the broader market and looking for value plays. And in reality, the whole EV sector has been massacred over the last month, month and a half, possibly even longer in some cases. But Rivian is at a pretty substantial discount. So right now, the PS ratio is about 3.9. A lot of people had issues when it was at 11, when it was at, like, for instance, 9, at 7. Like, everyone had issues all the time. But now, with it at 3.9, I feel like a lot of people and big money cannot ignore it at that stage um, there hasn't been any recent news from Rivian no SEC filings there was a good analysis that did come out talking all about their cash burn rate and how they're losing essentially 30,000 per vehicle and how that's actually anticipated in 2024 to drop dramatically and plus it talks on Ford so in case you don't know what happened recently with Ford they did stop the production or I guess went down to one shift for their f-150 uh, lightning so that's definitely a very good thing for for Rivian going forward, meaning less competition. So everything is lining up perfectly well for Rivian, just it's still getting dragged down with the broader market. And that is very unfortunate. But if you do have a long-term time frame, take advantage of these discounted prices, in my own opinion. Analyst. So there was a recent analyst rating that did come out from Tigris. Ivan, who does have a 62% success rating, which for a analyst that covers EVs, that is like gold massive gold because you normally do get a lot of people like this 39 percent 27 percent 49 so 62 percent is very very good they gave a 36 dollar price target so that up to the average quite significantly so it does have about 25.84 dollars for the price target as a consensus among all analysts and that's a 61 percent upside so when it comes down to a lot of the data points a lot of them coming out today are very optimistic starting off with shorts because i like to use this as a benchmark so right now shorts are returning 507,000 shares, 15.64% of the free flow is being shorted, 104.89 million shares overall are being shorted, and cost of borrow average is 0.83%. So across the board, shorts are increasing um, on a lot of growth stocks. And that is largely because shorts are doubtful about today's rally in a lot of different stocks, such as even Lucid, um, very comparable to Rivian. So technically by shorts returning with Rivian, that is a legitimate justification for today's rally, if that kind of makes sense. So let me know your thoughts on that. Obviously leading up to today's rally, the technicals were looking iffy. So a lot of people do like the Elliott Wave technicals and based on that, it is projecting it to go between 1180 and 1290. So that is kind of extreme. It does have the pivot point being $18.70. So if there is a continuation of a rally for it to get above that, then it will get back to the 20s but as it stands it's kind of stuck in limbo so i feel like the only negative aspect of rivian is its technicals if you're looking for a lot of good compiled information such as analyst ratings forecasts for upcoming earnings take a look at interactive brokers for all of this information to be completely free but moving on looking at options 9.21 million dollars in calls being purchased versus 2.84 million in puts sentiment wise kind of 50 50 so 50 percent of all the options being done today are bullish of the call options that are being purchased it is anticipated for it to be above roughly $17 vice versa looking at puts it's anticipated for it to be sub 16 obviously options don't necessarily move the stock price at all so this is why I'm just bringing it up as a more of a sentiment rather than anything but moving on though, with it currently at 15 or now $16, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So pivot is 1622. That's a very strong resistance that you'll really wanna watch for Rivian to get above next step. And then 1513, you'll really wanna watch that to hold. Obviously the broader market is really wanting to rally right now. So it's orienting more towards this pivot. And again, if it does get above that, then it'll trade between this pivot and this R1, so 1732. So just take note of this, of all 
the strong support and resistance points. But when it comes to it, I wanted to play one quick minute of this video because it does talk on the technicals and what might be coming next. So stay tuned for that. Futures climbing as Wall Street uh, looks for the S&P 500 to build uh, on all time highs. So uh, look at some technical indicators. Uh, Katie Stockton, Fairlead Strategies founder, managing partner and a CNBC contributor. Uh, so we had that good uh, that good end of year run and then some uh, consolidation. But are we back on track, do you think, for the S&P? And, and what is uh, what is near term, intermediate term? How does it look? Well, I mean, as of Friday, we have new all time highs. And as a technician, that's the kind of stuff we get excited about. Right. We have a an unconfirmed breakout. So that would be confirmed this Friday. We always wait for those two weekly closes above for confirmation, but assuming that happens, we can then kind of set our sights on the next measured move price objectives. We, we've talked about it here in the past. 6,100 from the breakout to new highs is a long-term measured move projection, which essentially assumes the trajectory of the trend off of the COVID corrective low will maintain itself. So it does seem a bit aggressive, as you can imagine. With that in mind, it was such a steep uptrend. But even so, it does dictate a bullish bias. And by the definition of new highs, it means there's no resistance left on the charts. And it, it does tend to generate additional momentum. Also, sentiment tends to shift. Maybe we're also seeing that on the economic front as well in a way to justify the new highs. So, so what that means for Rivian and the EV sector, which has been largely hit, dramatically like i already mentioned big money is going to be looking at sectors that are undervalued especially considering the s p and a lot of other indexes are going to be propelling higher like big money is going to be looking for the next big thing and this is where i do feel a lot of big money is going to rotate back into the ev sector so that'll stand to really benefit rivian because as i've said in the past like Tesla, everyone wants to come for Tesla's head. The only real competitor to Tesla right now is Rivian. And that's going to just develop more and more over time, especially as it gets closer to 2030. Like Rivian is going to do a lot of good things. I'm very excited about Rivian. And this is why I still do continue to buy. The last time I did buy, in all honesty, was $19. But today, in fact, I did sell some puts. So if you don't know how to do options, highly suggest in researching them because they can stand to be very profitable and beneficial official to a lot of stocks that you do like so for instance if you're selling a put you can always choose a strike price if it doesn't actually go below your strike price then you get your actual premium so that's kind of a beneficial aspect and if it does go below the strike price itself then you get to buy it at the price that you wanted originally so i really like to do options so if you don't know it once again highly suggest in researching them but with all that don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that give yourself a shout out have you been buying have you been selling what have you been doing with rivian one final thing take advantage of this promo this is one of the best promos in the whole market so just simply sign up for an account with moon with throw 100 at it and you get five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars so this is a crazy deal link in the the description below and also the comments with all that appreciate all of you watching